At our center, patients can expect that they have experts, UCNS certified behavioral neurologists, who know the rare, unusual, and uncommon presentation of common diseases. This place allows us to innovate. We have been free to create what we think is the best program for patients. Our multidisciplinary team consists of a social worker that can follow families and patients throughout their whole journey. We have a clinical nurse coordinator who is able to respond to any questions or issues outside of clinic visits. We have psychometrists who are very skilled in helping us at each visit understand where somebody is and their cognitive functioning. That gives us a lot of very granular information so that we can understand all about what might be impacting thinking. And we have been able to implement the most cutting edge types of diagnostic procedures, fluid and imaging biomarkers, whole genome testing, the standardization and consistency and comprehensive nature of our work is so unique. We identify not just all cognitive kinds of uh, contributions, but we can also give multiple therapies and multiple supports. Our care and treatment recommendations are rooted in science, but they're grounded in what matters. We are interested in knowing what patients and care partners want, and we are going to follow what they tell us. We can't practice medicine like we have in the past. We're not gonna wait till a person has a disease. We are going to be right at the forefront, modeling for everybody, creating the systems and supports that are gonna allow people to be feeling empowered to prevent dementia. One of the things we know is that cognitive testing has been difficult and we partnered with a, a company who created an AI-informed platform, a five-minute quick test that is very sensitive to very early changes in cognition. And not only is this something that a primary care physician or other provider can do in their own office, it is something that can be done remotely. And over time, can be tracked to see how people compare to themselves. So our goal is really to use this as a first step in expanding the ability for us to take care of people's brains so they don't get dementia and don't walk in through our door.